All right, so I'm at the subway meeting up with Michelle. We're about to catch a train over to New Jersey because we're going on a helicopter ride. I am looking for her. I don't know where she is exactly, but I should probably call her. Alright, so I met up with Michelle and we are taking an Uber over to this helicopter port. Is that what it's called? Helicopter port? Helipad? Yeah, so we're headed there right now. We're in Jersey now actually, so it's gonna take us over Manhattan, but it's gonna lift off from Jersey. Okay, look for Elliot. Yes, Elliot. We're here that way. Alright, so we made it. There's a big helicopter in the back there, and we are filling out some waivers and some forms. And then we're here a little bit early, so we're gonna wait around for a bit. Hold them. Yeah. All right, let me just check these in. Lens, like a wide one. Oh yeah. I'm gonna bleed it. Oh, 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 oh. Psych. <laughs> We're still here. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, so we just got harnessed up and now we are securing like our phones and cameras to these straps so they don't fall out in the sky. It's about to get really loud, so I'm gonna transition into the cinematic shots right now. We're about to board the helicopter. so windy up there I could not hear anything I couldn't even like get photos properly because it was so windy <laughs> All right, so we got done with our helicopter ride. I'm like really dizzy now. I'm just like a little exhausted, exhausted, tired, hungry. So we're gonna go grab a bite to eat at my friend's restaurant. It's in New Jersey still, so we're gonna go right now. Actually, we're going right now. <laughs> we're in the Uber. <laughs> Oh, what's up, dude? How are you? What's up, baby? Good to see you. Nice to see you too, man. Do you like bananas? Yeah. 
Also, I can't try it in a knot. Thank you. Okay. Testing again, one, two, three. Audio levels and lighting and distance. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up lunch. Actually, you wanna do you wanna do the vlog? You know, this is your video. come on, come on. Okay, so we just finished up lunch and we were thinking of going back home, but we just stopped here by the the New Jersey side of the river. Um, so we just thought we'd pop on here and do a little mini Q&A. Actually, I'm just gonna be asking Elliot questions. So he asked on his Instagram story to ask you guys to ask some questions and he has no idea what you guys asked. We're doing this because we don't have content <laughs> ideas. <laughs> no, we have a bunch of content, okay? <laughs> First question is, how did you guys know each other? You are two of my favorite YouTubers. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> how did we meet? question for you. Oh god, how did we meet? Uh, we met Elliot. for the first time this summer. Oh, we got brunch together. Mm, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. You Let me just ask the question and answer them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I watched your videos and I put it in one of my vlogs. Really? I did, yeah. Aww. And people were like, oh, that's Michelle Choi. Yeah, and then I started I seeing your name pop up on my comments and then people would like it. Oh, okay. yeah. And that's how, I, that's how I discovered Elliot Choi. Are you single? <laughs> Is Elliot Choi single? Next question. <laughs> When did your love for bananas begin? A lot of people actually ask this question. In college. It's not that I like bananas that much. It's like in college, the banana is the most ideal fruit for your college needs. You go to the dining hall, you don't want to go back later, and you want some snacks, you just take the bananas there. And like the beautiful thing about bananas is they have a peel, so you can store them for later when you get hungry. You know, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that. How long does a typical film slash photo sesh take? How long does a video take for you? Oh, for Michelle has a YouTube channel, by the way. If you if you didn't know, I don't film all day like you. Uh -huh. I film snippets of each day throughout the week, and I'll compile it and make that a vlog. So, a couple days to a week. Okay. How many hours total of filming, like footage? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, it's around like three hours of actual filming and then editing takes so long oh, for me. Oh, editing takes so For me, a normal video takes around six hours beginning to end of editing. But you spend a lot. a lot of, yeah, you spend, well, what was I gonna say? <laughs> How long does it take you to edit a video? A whole day. Whole day? Whole day or even two days. What's the best part and what's the hardest part of YouTube? Why don't you tell us full-time YouTuber Michelle Choi? What's the what's the best part? Okay, the best part is, is that you're on your own schedule. Agreed. You don't have to report to anyone. I think that's the best part. Just having freedom and yeah. flexibility. Same here. Yes. Hardest part? Oh, I know what the hardest part is. Thinking of what to film. Content ideas, yeah, content which ideas. is why we're doing a Q&A. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. Definitely best part is having the freedom yeah. to do what you want with your life. The hardest part, you really have to be disciplined because it's it has to do with the fact that you do have that freedom. Technically, you don't report to anyone, so you could just lie around for Get lazy. forever, right? But it's just like keeping yourself disciplined, like, oh, I'm gonna post by this day, so that means in order to do that, I need to edit a few days in, uh, in advance, I need to film on this day, and just being disciplined with your work, I think. What motivates you? What motivates me? That's such a deep question. I don't even know what motivates me. Like, I feel I like it doesn't have to be one thing. Yeah, it can be like why. many other things. Yeah. I definitely get into slumps, but when I talk to people, like creative people, it helps me gain more ideas. Mm -hmm. That gets me really excited. I just bought new camera equipment. I'm so excited. Do you want to show it off? <laughs> I think it's like workout, you know, working out, you get motivated when you buy new workout clothes. Canon 5D Mark IV, 35 millimeter, 1.4. Yeah. It's a nice setup. So I'm, I'm really motivated right now. 
And I think meeting after meeting Elliot and seeing the behind the scenes of what he does to create all his cool content, I want to. I basically copied his whole. <laughs> I basically copied Elliot's setup. But yeah, no, Elliot's like I love Elliot. Like he's so creative and so good at what he does. It motivates me really truly. So I mo so so the answer is I motivate Michelle. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's her final answer. Okay, what motivates you? Well, definitely not Michelle. <laughs> this is like super cliche, but I feel like um, there's this idea of one life. It's like people use it a lot for like motivation. Oh, you only have one life. Um, but that really does kind of motivate me because. It means you have like one shot, you only get one shot. to kind of live the life that you really want to live. Mm -hmm. And that has kind of inspired me to really take YouTube kind of seriously because like I think about like my dream life, right? Mm -hmm. Like what would I what would I absolutely love to do like every single day for the rest of my life? Mm -hmm. And I realized like, you know, making videos is part of that formula. Mm -hmm. And so like it's inspired me to kind of go full force with it and really pursue it because it's like something I would be happy doing with that one life that I'm given. So I don't know if it's like, it's a combination of like you're gonna die and also being grateful like that you have opportunities. If I were to create a role, like a perfect role model of myself, kind of like stepping into those shoes and living every day like you were already that person. I, I hope that makes sense. Wow, his answer was so much better than mine. <laughs> no, 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 her answer was great. She said, uh, what was, your, what was your motivation? Me? Scratch that. <laughs> For me, when I was in my last semester in college, I thought I was going to be working in corporate in Korea. I don't know how I would have handled that. But just thinking about it now in like retrospect, like having the opportunity to be on YouTube and create cool content, and I personally cannot be stuck in office space, just like my personality. And just thinking about that, I'm like, okay, Michelle, like, we need to work. Okay, never mind, that wasn't that close. It sounded better in my head. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, so q and is over. We got on the train from New Jersey, and now we're back in New York City, and Michelle is headed home. I'm gonna go grab dinner with some friends. I'm sick of Elliot. Yeah, me too. We hang out too much. <laughs> so, we're finding an exit. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Guys, look who I ran into at uh, Cafe Benny in K Town. Bro, this is this is my spot. This is my spot. I'm seeing you everywhere in the city, bro. Dude, I'm always in. I'm always at the spot. This is a spot, dude. This is this is a spot. spot. Honestly, like if you want to find us, just come to K Town. Yeah, We're obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just got done eating here in K-Town and I am headed home. I feel like whenever I'm in the city, I always eat here because I love Korean food. I don't get enough of it in my life, so I might as well while I'm in the city. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm headed home. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like. It helps a ton. And don't forget to subscribe. It's getting loud. Yes, so and I will catch you. <laughs> subscribe. You heard her. Subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>